hello and let us continue our discussion on finding complements now in this video we will first discuss how to find the complement of three digit numbers three digit numbers now let us just go through the method quickly so the first thing we need to know is the base for a three digit number so let's say that we have a number 421 and I want to find out the complement for this 421 so what is going to be the nearest base as we discussed in the earlier video it is 1 followed by the zeros in the digit so 1 2 3 so 1000 is the base the nearest base of 10 for 421 and I want to find out the complement of this and we use the all from 9 that is the subtract all the numbers from 9 and the last number from 10 to find out the complement okay so what we do here is we start from left and proceed towards right to do this so the complement of this 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 2 is 7 and 10 minus 1 is 9 so 579 is the complement of 421 let us take another example let us say that we have 499 using the same method 9 minus 4 gives me 5 9 minus 9 is 0 and 10 minus 9 is 1 so 501 is the complement of 499 one more example let us say 209 and what is the complement I would just write C here so that you understand that C stands for the complement so what is the complement for 209 so 9 minus 2 is 7 now this is a 0 here so need not to worry you still subtract this from 9 so 9 minus 0 is 9 again and 10 minus 9 this is the last number over here the last from 10 that is what we need to keep in mind so 10 minus 9 gives me 1 so therefore 791 is the complement of 209 now let's look at an interesting case what if you have a 0 at the end so let us say that you have a number 780 and how are you supposed to find the complement of this now this is a little bit special case and you have to modify the all from 9 and last from 10 rule in such a way that you don't count the 0 as a number you don't do 10 minus 0 this actually becomes your last number to do the 10 subtraction so you would still follow the all from 9 and last from 10 but the digit just before 0 right before the units place so when you have a zero in a units place please note it is applicable only when you have a number that has a zero in the units place right not if a number is anywhere in between so for example we have this 209 we you don't apply that exception over here you apply it only when you have a zero in the units place so how would I proceed to do this so I would do 9 minus 7 it gives me 2 and then here instead of subtracting this 8 from 9 as I would have done normally I would treat this at the last number to be subtracted from 10 so 10 minus 8 gives me 2 and remember to get the 0 down here so 220 is the complement so let's look at another number so for example you have 260 what is the complement for that so you would do 7 minus 2 uh, 9 minus 2 that gives me 7 and this one now 10 minus 6 is 4 now you should know that when you add these two numbers you will get the complement back uh, you would get the base back not the complement but the base so when you add these two the, you will get thousand which is nothing but your base and this is just a check to see if you have found out the complements correctly now having discussed this method for two digit and three digit numbers we can now quickly discuss how to apply it for a any digit number an n digit number and all you need to know is just keep two things in mind mind the first thing is the rule of subtracting all from 9 and last from 10 this is the first rule that you need to keep in mind and the second rule is if there is a zero in unit place in that case you do not treat that zero as a number you just take it over and the sequence changes 
to subtract 10 just before the number 0 okay so let's try to find out complement for some big number so let's say that we have a number which is 2 3 4 6 and we want to find out the complement for this so we follow with our rule all from 9 and last from 10 so 9 minus 2 is 7 9 minus 3 is 6 9 minus 4 is 5 and 10 minus 6 is 4 so this is your complement let's take another number uh, let us say 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so what is going to be the complement for this number 1 2 3 4 5 6 all from 9 last from 10 subtract so 9 minus 1 is 8 9 minus 2 is 7 9 minus 3 is 6 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 5 is 4 and 10 minus 6 the last digit is 4 so this is your complement now let us look at a case when you have a 0 okay so we have a number let us say 3 8 3 and 9 4 5 0 find the complement for this we use all from 9 last from 10 but because there is a 0 in the unit the subtraction for 10 happens for this digit so 9 minus 3 is 6 9 minus 8 is 1 9 minus 3 is 6 9 minus 9 gives us 0 9 minus 4 is 5 and now it is 10 minus 5 so that becomes 5 and this is 0 so this is your complement now before we finish the discussion on complements let me give a unique number and we'll see what the complement for that comes up so for example let's say we have a number six 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 seven what is a complement for this number so we proceed ahead with all from nine and last from ten and actually it's very simple because nine minus six is three and all you can do is keep on writing these threes three three and three so you have all threes as the complement of a number so with that we complete our discussion on complements of numbers and in the coming videos we will see how to use this concept of complement in doing some multiplications which will help to make multiplications much faster goodbye till then